What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing the other woman. When the side chick turns into the main chick and the main chick turns into the side chick, okay? Um, these placements that I'm going to start naming off are going to be indicators as well as women that can um, be the other woman for quite some time, for years, okay? Um, be with somebody for years to the point where um, there is no engagement, okay, or no marriage, okay? This is what's going to be able to go on and go go on and take place um but a lot of times with these placements um i've seen it play out many different ways where the woman can definitely be the main chick okay but at some point she could have been the side or looked at as a side chick okay um there is cases where with people with this placement where they were the main chick and they became the side chick okay so this is pushing heavily into this area okay so we have um done the video before right side chick um indicators and things like that but this is um more about being the other woman for real okay the real other woman the one that has the potential to turn into the main chick or the main chick that now becomes the side ass okay let's jump into it venus conjunct square to opposite pluto aquarius dominant 11th house placements, 11th house stellium, Aquarius stellium, Uranus dominant, Pisces dominant, Neptune dominant, Pisces stellium, 12th house stellium, Pisces placements, 12th house placements, Moon conjunct square to opposite Venus, Saturn and Capricorn, Okay, um, Saturn dominant, Saturn stellium, 10th house stellium, 10th house placements, moon in Scorpio, moon in the 8th house, moon in Aries, moon in the 1st house, Venus in Aries, Venus in the 1st house, Venus in Scorpio, Venus in the 8th house, Venus in Pisces, Venus in the 12th house, Mars in Libra, Mars in the 7th house, Libra placements, 7th house placements, um, Venus, um, sorry, I said Venus, 7th house stellium, Libra stellium, Libra placements, 7th house placements, okay, um, which is also going to mean Venus dominant, okay, in your chart, um, uh, Lilith, Lilith in Pisces, Lilith in the 12th house. That's a real big one too. Um, Lilith in Aquarius, Lilith in the 11th house, Lilith in the seventh house, Lilith in Libra, Lilith in Capricorn, Lilith in the 10th house. Sun conjunct squared or opposite Neptune. Moon conjunct squared opposite Neptune. Venus conjunct squared opposite Neptune. Neptune in the fifth house, Uranus in the fifth house, Moon, Uranus aspect, Venus, Uranus aspect, and we have Sun, Uranus aspect, okay? So I am going to leave this on this note for now and in future videos to come up and go more into depth on why, okay? Um, anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. Thank you for everybody that's been tuning in, liking the videos, and subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. My phone number is 516-738-6042. Um, and the Libra Scale sale is on. So please email me or you can call me directly. Please text me first because I don't answer phone calls. Okay? So this is the Force of Nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you on the next one.